Hey guys, Capra here, and did you know that over a woman's lifetime, she will pop over 4,000 pimples, and men will pop roughly 3,800-ish pimples. I just found out that just stunning bit of history on the radio. And I, funny, I was just thinking about that the other day, like, God, I wonder how many pimples a person pops in a year. Anyways, here we are today, a beautiful day. It's gonna be a little cool, 62-ish and sunny. We're going to Picker's Paradise and we're hopefully gonna finish. Finish, I said, that's right, finish. We're gonna do some grading and I'm gonna hit it with the SR3 and we're gonna leave that tree pile and we'll see how the rest of it goes. So here is our before look. This is the side yard. I'm gonna probably break the grapple out first and uh, try to clean up a little bit more of the sticks and stuff in here. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do first, bring the grapple out. Try to clean that up a little more and then I'm going to start grading with the SR3. Got to move this uh, trailer frame off to the side somewhere. I'm not sure where I'll tuck that, but I'll find a spot. Curtis has been working on this pit here that we use to burn stuff. Filling that in with a bunch of chaff and dirt stuff and piles where we got high spots. We agreed we're gonna leave that pile. It's just as slow as it was taking us to burn it. Neither of us have all day to just sit around with it, so we're just gonna leave that the rest of it anyways. And get some more of this junk cleanup. I should have brought the excavator. I didn't think I'd need it, but now I'm seeing a lot of spots where where I could use it. I think I might run back and get it. Like this mess in here could all be cleaned up, these trees. And it's tough to get at stuff like that with the skid steer. And then this was where the front mobile home was. So here's the latest update on this mobile home up in the front of the property. They got half of the back torn out. And wait till you see the front side. So this thing is, and maybe not quite halfway done, but they're pulling all this metal off of it. Definitely looks dry enough to clean up now. I mean, he's also been working on this with the skid steer. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we can wrap this up today. Okay, welcome back. So in today's video, we're actually not going to quite get to the final grading, but we're going to get it all the way up to that very last step. 
So this is all going to be last minute prep work between both machines, the uh, mini excavator and the T650 because uh, there was just a lot more final prep work that needed to be done that I had not taken into account. So join us today for the final prep work and of course we're going to have some fun in today's video and it will be ready after today to be uh, graded and then planted. We're planning on doing that in the next few days if it doesn't rain. So this is the very final day before planting this uh, eight acre farm. So definitely stay tuned. Catch you on the next one. Thanks. Are you comfortable enough? Or do you need to reposition maybe? see I got that big hole filled in and this whole ditch filled in so now I'm gonna just put a rough grade on it um, just to see how much more I'm gonna need here and then let it dry for an hour or two before we do our final grade
Curtis the man just in time with breakfast. Got you a nice homemade sandwich for being late. Oh, nice. So, nice. I've been handpicking, so uh, I'm hungry. <laughs> Bacon, egg, and cheese. Oh, my, one of my favorites, man. <laughs> All right, she's rolling, man. Curtis Vision. All right. One last mobile home frame.
not bad. He even worked his way around the uh, tripod. This is one of our uh, kind of community tripods that we're always using. Now it's time to rip this junk down off of this fence. I got the go ahead from the command decision.